What's up? So I got some good coffee. This morning I want to talk about diversity. Is diversity important? Let me tell you about my experience with that. I'm from a really small town in East Texas called Emory. Emory by God, Texas. That's where I'm from. The population sign said 813 people. Some of the best people that I've ever known are in that town. So here's what happened with me. I made a decision to join the military and my decision to join the military was out of desperation. What I did was I, I left and went to college for three semesters until I partied my way out of that. And then I moved back home. And when I moved back home, that's when things really got started to get bad. I knew that if I didn't get out of there, if I didn't leave, then I was going to wind up in a bad situation. So I took off and my recruiter talked me into this job that was for smart kids. I was a linguist. So I went to language school. So at language school, they were going to teach me Vietnamese. I learned Vietnamese. Crazy. So I'm at this school on the coast of California. And let me tell you what that was like. I grew up in Emory, Texas. And if I had the window open at night to, you know, when I was going to sleep, I could hear crickets, coyotes, and cows. That's what I could hear, right? When I was in Monterey, California, Monterey Bay, up on the hill, prime real estate, overlooking the bay, the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, I'm laying in the barracks with my window open there, and I could hear seal, seals barking at the bay. It's, it was just incredible, the difference. And keep in mind, at the Defense Language Institute where I was at, at the time, I think they, they, they taught somewhere between 40 and 50 foreign languages. And all of the instructors are from that country. My teachers were from Vietnam. So I wound up in probably the, the most diverse community in all of the military. And for the first year in the Air Force at, at DLI at this language school, I compared everything to Emory. And the things that I would say was, this isn't how the real world works. And I was calling the real world Emory how it was there. Now think about that for a second. The real world. So my real world, my experience of the world up to that point in my life and what I had accepted as what is was Emory, the way that it was there. And this isn't really specifically about Emory at all. It's about my experience. And eventually I found out that my experience up to the point to, I, to where I joined the, the big Air Force, the Air Force is a big place, and then I'm at this language school where there's so much diversity in people and thought and belief and getting to know these cultures and getting to know these people, it was incredible. I found out that my experience up to the point that I joined the military was this was really small compared to the real world. The real world wasn't where I came from. That was just a small, tiny experience. And I had entered into a much bigger world. And one of the things that occurred to me at some point along the way is this. If you want to fully experience your life, and I don't care where you live, you can live in Emory, you can live in New York City, you can still have diverse experiences of life. And all, you know, and really one of the easiest things you can do is open a book and read, you know, watch uh, a documentary of some kind, just learn about other things. And let me tell you, geography, the era in which you were born, the community you were born into, all of these things have influenced who you are completely all the way down to the very fiber of your being. These things have influenced who you are because you, me, or anyone, if we were born on the other side of the world 500 years ago, everything would be different. Everything would be different. So it's important to understand that there are different experiences. 
There are different types of people. And, and, and the key word there is understanding. Let me tell you something. I didn't try Chinese food till I was 17 and I like it. Okay. And then when I got to the Defense Language Institute and I was studying Vietnamese, one of my best friends, and he's still one of my best friends today, Jason Williams is his name. He was a Thai linguist. So he was learning Thai and I tried Thai food for the first time when I was 21, 22 years old. I tried Thai food. Thai food is my favorite food. And listen to this. It's so, it's so fucking simple. But it's, you, if you don't pay attention to your life's experience, sometimes you're going to miss some very important lessons. Until we wake up to the experience of our life, we're going to have the same undesirable things happen over and over and over again. So wake up a little bit. Pay attention. And here's something very small, but it's very profound. And it applies to everything. Thai food is my favorite food. I never tried it until I was like 21, 22 years old. And guess what? If I would have never tried Thai food, I would have never known that it was my favorite food. If you don't try things, if you don't get outside of the box that has been primarily constructed for you, not by you, okay? The trick is recognizing that and start dismantling the parts that don't serve you that are causing you to be stuck in whatever area that you're stuck. Dismantle that shit and build it back up yourself with new and diverse experiences. Because if you never try it, you're never gonna know. Your favorite thing to do could very well be bungee jumping or skydiving. But if you never try it, you'll never know. There's no way that you can experience the fullness of life without diversity. Most of the time, the things that we hate, don't like, disagree with, are the things that we simply don't understand. Period. So, diversity, understanding. If we're going to come together, right, and, and, and tear down all of the, the different things that divide us and separate us. If we're going to come together, then we got to get to know each other. I'm a firm believer that if, if we get to know each other, we're going to find that and we're going to get that. We're going to click. That's what's going to happen. And it's all about just understanding other people. The reason that diversity is so important, the reason that we all need it in our lives is number one, so we can come together, understand each other better. Understand each other to the point to know that we all really are kind of looking for the same thing. So we can come together as a diverse community to address diverse problems with diverse solutions. So that's one reason diversity is important. The other reason is because you will not experience the fullness of life unless you try new things. Unless you get to know about other things. Let's you learn about other things, try new things, experience new people, new places, new conversations. And you just might find out that those new people, the new places, the new conversations, the new things that you experience just might be your very favorite thing. So is diversity important? Absolutely. One of the things I like to say is diversity is one of the best teachers. And it will help us experience the fullness of life. And the things that I'm about, awareness, awareness of your box and the parts that help you and the parts that don't. And once we figure out the parts that don't help us and we take responsibility for those things and stop blaming other things, other people, other groups, other ideas, take responsibility for that. Because until you can say, I did this, I live in this box and I'm allowing this box to be my experience. Until you can say, I did this, you can't, you don't have the power to change it. You don't have the power to do anything about it. So first is awareness. Next is personal 
responsibility. And then once you take responsibility, you have to take action, don't you? You have to take action. If you don't do anything, nothing's going to happen. If nothing changes, nothing changes, right? And I'm also about, about understanding each other, getting to know each other, appreciating the diversity of us, coming together as a diverse community on common ground with a common goal of just, well, first of all, just loving each other loving each other and coming up with diverse solutions to diverse problems and breaking down these barriers that we've all created. Like sometimes I think about the conflict that we have in the world and, and the world that we've constructed and it just blows me away. You know, borders and not just borders, but we're going to build walls to keep people out. We made all this shit up. We made all of this up. We created all of these boundaries. And you know what? It kind of comes down to because I'm better than you. That's why. You can't come here because we're better than you. We're right. You're wrong. And it's just so ridiculous. We're not better than anybody. So I'm about coming together. Awareness, responsibility, action, and then breaking down this bullshit that we've created, breaking down these barrier, bullshit barriers we've created and coming together as the human race. That's it. Please take what you need and leave the rest. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found something of value that you can take and apply to your everyday life. Now be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. You can also watch these coffee talks live on my Facebook page three times a week. Just go to Facebook and search for Will and Purpose Coaching and stick around for the credits so you can learn more ways that we can connect. Welcome to the community.